Mr. Hansen, uh, when did Health and Human Services first know about the 2 million Americans when they would lose their health care coverage, even if they liked it? When would you first know that 2, 000, 2 million Americans would lose their health care based upon this, this provision? I am I'm not sure I am following your question. Well, let us go further. President Obama clearly said if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. Um, well, limited and mini-med plans provide some coverage to about 2 million people. True? Um, about 1.8 to be exact. But the law as written um, and the law as it was understood, and we are talking about attorneys. Now, I am not an attorney. I am a dentist. 7-Eleven, Lowe's, National Restaurant Association, National Retail Federation, the U.S. Chamber of Congress said, in their opinion, the bill as written eliminated this health care coverage, period. True or not true? Not true. I mean, as I described earlier, it, it does two things. It sets up a phase-in of restricted annual limits leading to no annual limits in policies, but preserves the ability for this small part of the market that has very, very low annual limits to continue until we get to 2014. Did you know those groups met with the Secretary for Health and Human Services in June of last year about that very issue? Um, I don't think I did. We had, we had meetings with groups as well to talk about uh, the development of the waiver process. Um, so I don't, I don't know who met with the Secretary specifically. Who all was involved in developing the, the waiver process? Well, we developed the waiver process, HHS. Just on your own? No outside in inference at all? No, no, no. no. Our, our staff developed it. We looked at the regulation. Um, we met with stakeholders who had an interest in the process. Um, we took their suggestions to heart, which were to keep it simple, um, to make it easy to apply, um, to make it prompt so that it didn't take too long. So I think we did all those things, 30-day turnaround time. Uh, again, we think it is simple to use. We have gotten a lot of positive feedback from uh, a number of groups that, in fact, it is very straightforward. Mr. Wold, the whole process of this waiver, would you call, call it uh, cumbersome or straightforward? I would say somewhere in between, probably. I mean, in, in some cases, it, it worked very well for our clients, and in other cases, it didn't. I mean, there were certainly issues with respect to identifying, you know, what information needed to be provided, at least for the early applications that we submitted before the application form was released. We developed our own kind of template form that we used and, and you know, based on the guidance that was in existence. Um, and so in, in some cases that worked. In other cases, uh, our clients heard back that, no, you need to provide some additional information or, no, we have this form now, you need to provide that. So there was, there were some cumbersome aspects to it. If you were trying to help people along, trying to work with them, would you put uh, the waiver form on the sixth page hidden away in the, your uh, web-based uh, web, uh, uh, application? No, I, I wouldn't, no. I mean, I, and, and when we worked with our clients, we issued uh, what we call a client alert to all of our clients, notifying that, them of this uh, waiver process. and. You know, we had found the link, obviously, by that time and, and included the link, but uh, I would have made it more prominent, yes. Okay. Um, so if, if, if you were from outside Washington, D.C., God forbid, <laughs> maybe back out in Arizona, California, whatever, this is an arduous process, is it not? I, I think it is for the average employer, yes. I mean, and in part, that is why they come to benefit attorneys to, to help them with that process. But I think, you know, if you were, if you didn't have the, the means to hire a benefits attorney or didn't have a third party who is an expert in, in the benefits field, uh, I think for the average employer it would be arduous. So, Mr. Larson, we spent some considerable effort based upon this um, web design. We spent a lot of time and energy trying to incorporate um, the waiver process, did we not? Did, did it, it came at quite an expense, expense and time. I'm sorry. What to was develop the, the waiver process and to put it on the web, uh, on a web-based system it took I some time. No, I would not. You mean for HHS? Mm -hmm. No, um, I would not describe it as a, a large expense. We had a number of staff working on it. Um, again, we tried to keep it simple. Um, we put it on the website. We put out a press release. Um, I know that, you know, many many 
benefit consulting firms, TPAs, because most small businesses even and larger businesses have their benefits administered by these third-party administrators who all indications we got were very familiar with this process, were aware of the process. Um, I'm not aware of a, a feedback that we got that people were not aware of this or troubled by it. Even Mr. Wold found it. Uh, he spoke with HHS people. He got his questions answered, I think. Uh, I don't want to speak for him, but I've, I've read his testimony. Um, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 